So let's take a look at this question together. And it says a stone is released from rest from the edge of a building uh, on a roof 190 meters above the ground. So we're on a really tall building. Second identical stone is thrown straight out with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second. Neglecting air resistance, which one hits the ground first? So we have our building, we have one ball and a second ball. This one has an initial velocity of V naught. This guy has an initial velocity of zero. So let's solve the first problem. Well, I know that I'm going to deal, the amount of time that it's in the air is going to be based solely on how long it takes for it to go down its vertical direction. It's going to be the same for both equations. So if I go in the y direction, assuming y is positive up, let's draw a coordinate system, y is positive up, that means that our final position is equal to our initial position plus v naught y t plus one half a y t squared. My initial, we're going to say the ground is equal to zero. So my initial height is at 190 meters. Why not? My final height is at zero meters because I'm at the ground. My initial velocity in this case is zero in the vertical direction and my initial acceleration is in the minus g direction. Up is positive so down is a negative g value t squared. So that would be for the dropped ball. Well, if we go back and look at the thrown one, it's thrown in a particular way. It's thrown with 20 meters per second straight out. So this is a V naught X. When we look at this equation, it still lands at the ground. It still started at the 190 meters above. It still has an initial velocity in the vertical direction of zero. It has a horizontal direction, but that doesn't matter for this problem. It's in the vertical direction only. It's zero. And last but not least, it has the same acceleration term. So the correct answer is they're going to hit at the same time because they're identical equations that govern or that describe their motion.